Thank you for watching Your City in 5. I'm your host, Ricky Saias. The city of El Paso is ready to reopen all parks that it was forced to close because of COVID-19. On Monday, June 8th, all city parks officially reopened to the public. Parks were closed for several weeks due to COVID-19 precautions. The Office of Emergency Management and the Department of Public Health, with support from Mayor DeMargo, gave the green light to reopen parks, including skate parks and outdoor playing courts. Playgrounds and fitness equipment will remain closed and will be marked off with tape. If all goes well, all playgrounds could reopen soon. As for parks, visitors are encouraged to continue practicing social distancing and wear face coverings. Meanwhile, city leaders are working on potentially reopening spray parks and some recreation centers in the coming weeks. Libraries are also part of that discussion. City Council will hear options during a work session meeting on Monday, June 8th. The meeting will be live streamed on the city's website and YouTube channel. As for the virus, the Public Health Department says it's far from over. Health officials reported spikes in cases during the first few days of June. Health officials say the surge in cases is due in part to clusters, which is a collection of two or more cases in the same area. There is also concern that many people are not following warning and prevention measures. Community members who are concerned they might have been exposed to the virus can still get a free COVID-19 test. Virus testing has been expanded through mid-June at several community and mobile sites. Additional information, including testing sites and locations, is posted on epstrong.org. That's a portion of the video that won the El Paso Safe Public Service Announcement Contest. Juan Diego Burciaga Sosa created that video that highlights social distancing and wearing masks in public. He won $1,500. Second place went to Braulio Hello, Banuelos, Paso. who won $500. Our local PBS TV station the partnered with the city and, and the county to host the contest. Both videos can be seen on KCOSTV.org and the city's social media sites. It's been a hot start to June. We've already seen temperatures reach more than 100 degrees. The triple-digit heat is always a concern, especially for older people, children, and those working outdoors. The hot temperatures will more than likely continue throughout the summer. The Public Health Department urges people to be mindful of the heat and take precautions. If it's too hot, stay inside. Prolonged exposure to the sun can cause heat exhaustion. Drink plenty of water. Wear loose-fitting clothes. Avoid exercising outdoors. Be a good neighbor. Check on the elderly and make sure they're cool. Free fans are available by calling 211. Fans can also be donated at any fire station. If you have pets, make sure they have shade and water, and whatever you do, please do not leave them in the car. Mosquito season is here. There are more than just pets, though. The Public Health Department says the insects can transmit dangerous diseases that can cause a health risk. To avoid getting bit, the department says remember the three Ds. Use bug spray with DEET, dress in long sleeves and pants, avoid the outdoors in dusk and dawn, and drain pots or areas with standing water. By the way, health experts say there is no evidence that mosquitoes spread COVID-19. Our partners at TechStock continue to work on the Mesa Park interchange in West El Paso. Some good news, crews are opening the new Executive Center exit going east on Monday, June 8th. Crews are demolishing and shutting down the old ramp. TechStock says drivers can expect several highway closures westbound in June as work continues on that project this summer. If you want to gain some mad knowledge this summer, then join the Public Library's Summer Reading Club. The virtual activity runs through August 31st. Books may be checked out online with or without a library card. The library keeps track of the minutes and the number of books you read. All you have to do is read. To sign up, visit ElPasoPublicLibrary.org. Parents, if you're looking for a fun way to keep your child engaged through a summer of social distancing, then Zoom Camp is a great option. The El Paso Zoological Society is hosting the online camp that is held two hours a day for a whole week. It's interactive and features educational lessons on zoo animals with live demonstrations and arts and crafts projects. Registration is now open for camps that start June 29th. There is a fee though. Visit ElPasoZooSociety.org to register. That's it for this YC5. You can find information on COVID-19 by visiting epstrong.org. It's also posted on all of the city's social media sites. For Jonathan Romo, who's putting together this video, I'm Ricky Saias. Stay safe and be good to each other. We'll see you next time on Your City in 5.